things to see at the North Dakota State Fair and reporter Natalie Gomez tells us more about the 9-11 Never Forget Mobile Exhibit. If you were driving down Broadway this afternoon, you may have come across a bit of a traffic jam. That's because a 9-11 mobile exhibit was being escorted to the fairgrounds. To have a memorial to that come to our community I think is a great honor. Uh, we obviously need to honor those people and the sacrifice that they made. The exhibit travels across the country, but this summer it's made its way to Minot. We bring a part of New York to the area, to different areas. Uh, especially some areas where people may not have the opportunity to go see the museum, uh, go see where the tower stood, or to actually go see the new museum, which is open. Now their goal is to educate everyone about the devastating events that happened on September 11. We have artifacts and some relics from the 9-11 uh, attack that day. Uh, we also um, have some information about our foundation. Uh, about what Stephen did that day, which was incredible. Stephen Siller was one of the many first responders who lost their life that day. But his family chose to honor him by starting the Tunnel to Tower Foundation, which helps fallen first responders and veterans. I think people should, should come out and see us. Uh, we, we give guided tours through the exhibit. <laughs> Austin Burns, now a captain with the Minot Fire Department, remembers the day all too well. Little did I know that day was going to affect my entire career. The memorial is there for everyone to honor and remember those who gave their lives for freedom. Reporting for KX News, I'm Natalie Gomez. Wow. North Dakotans will be able to see the exhibit from noon to 7 p.m. every day free of charge. Sure will be quite the sight. Quite an entrance that made today. Mm -hmm. Coming up next on KX News, if you don't get your...